All right, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. So, I think in about a week we're gonna get a brand new update. That means we're gonna have some new, I guess, buffs and nerfs. So I basically wanna start this new series basically predicting what the new meta is gonna be without actually knowing if the guns were good. So in past season, I more or less predicted it in stream without actually recording it. So now I'm actually on stream and recording at the same time. And I kind of want to do those predictions to see if they come true or not. For example, I predicted the ASM-10 was going to be a really good gun and it became basically the only gun in, in, in meta. I predicted that the, what's it called? The RC was going to be really essential and everyone's going to be using it just because of how annoying it was. So there's going to be like a few segments to this. There's going to be the first segment, which is we're talking about the current meta, what guns is being used right now basically in rank and kind of competitive and then we're going to talk about the patch notes so right now these are all all speculations somebody posted it on twitter i believe it's called duty mobile uh this other community account whatever and then we're going to talk about also my prediction of what will be in the um, meta so to start off currently in the meta i'm not going to include really the guns that are like Pay, paywall through so for example the hbr the pharaoh um the krm i'm not and also not going to include the sniper and shotgun because let's be honest everyone's going to have a sniper and no one really used a shotgun except for that one freak on your team but yeah like i mentioned we're not going to mention that so it's basically going to be mostly ar and smg and there's not going to be really any order to these it's just these five guns in my opinion from playing rank as well as from casting commentating and you know watching pro games these are the guns that i see a lot of so occasionally you'll see that one guy running the man of war some hvk some ak the type 25 and if we talk about like the the last meta prior to that what went out of the meta we have basically the s36 msmc as well as the type 25 first of all the main gun we have and probably the only smg that we see played a lot and maybe we can say the pw but i'm gonna not put the pw because i see it played but not as much as uh i think the uh, these other five guns so we have the rus rus is definitely the most played smg that we see in competitive as well as in ranked and basically the other four guns are gonna be more or less just ars i've actually sort them by name so you guys can see basically the names of the gun that we have. So they mentioned AK-117 is being played heavily a lot right now. We have the ASM being played heavily a lot. I see a BK being played a lot as well. We have the KN being played. The LK is actually kind of going up there. Is this in the same space as the PDW being kind of played, but not as much as the other gun? But definitely one of those better guns being played. M116 is not. M4 is being played in the lower ranks. Some of the pros are actually using it. I've seen a few players. The Type 25 is one of those guns, like I mentioned, kind of got rotated out. And that's what we're going to talk about also in the last segment of guns I think is going to be meta. And then guns that are going to rotate out. And then obviously the HBR, which is up, up under a paywall, which you can't use. But it's going to be added probably to the list since everyone's going to be able to get that. So that's currently the meta. Now we're going to go ahead and look through basically this paper, I guess, is posted. We're going to actually show you to you guys real quick. So this is a post by COD Mobile under Murder Blast or Call of Duty Mobile Crown Crown. All right, so this is some of the adjustments that we see. First of all, nothing included in this thing. Um, I'm just super happy that Russ is coming in. So can, can we just get a, a huge pogs uh, in the chat for, um, you know, Rust? <laughs> all right, so this is some of the things that um, we're gonna talk about and you guys will see. And one of these guns is actually gonna be super surprising that I think is gonna be in the meta. So first thing we see here, gravity spikes cooldown have been reduced. So depending on how much it's been reduced, it's already a low cooldown. It could be really good for players running shotgun. Because shotguns are really into your face. And being able to get shotgun, shotgun, and if there's someone who pops up in front of you, gravity spikes, and then get more shotgun, shotgun, reverse it into it, that could be really, really good. I can see, unfortunately, I don't think shotguns can be in the competitive. We don't really know the rules for the championship. We'll see how it goes. This is the crazy part. Shock RC can attack up to two enemies. Do you know how crazy that is? So apparently it was always able to do that, but now it's going to be more prominent and you're going to see if two people are next to each other, they're going to get shocked. I don't think that's super game changing because more than more often than not, you're not going to see two people close enough to get shocked. However, there's two different types of wording. It could either mean that it hits two people at the same time or it hits one person and then when that person dies, it goes to a next person then that would be broken. And I already think that the RC is the more, the most, the more broken. One of the most broken of the score streaks. It's the lowest, so anybody can have it. Literally, it takes three kills with the hardliner or four kills, but you get the UAV at the same time. But 
if it is in a case where it can shock two people at the same time, not that great of a deal because generally you're not going to have that many people. Maybe on the hard point, maybe on one of those points, that's cool, depending on the range. But if it hits one person and then goes on to the next person, that's going to be absolutely broken since it has so much health. Unless they like ninja nerf it and they made the health like 50 health, so that'd be pretty better. Now, this is the important part. The ICR is going to aim in speed and accuracy increase. Nothing about the damage. So, I mean, it's pretty bad. Let's be honest. The ICR is probably one of the worst gun in the game. Um, I low key thought it was going to be really good. They buffed it again. So, we'll, we'll test it out. But I don't think it's going to be in the meta. We'll talk about the meta afterwards. This is important. The st stability of the UL is going to be increased. And that was the biggest issue that was keeping it from... Ooh, my bad. I just burped. From being the best LMG in the game and uh, Noah can even vouch for this he says that the first like what three I want to say first 10 shots first 10 shots has no recoil so the fact that they increased the, the the accuracy will be really good to see and uh, we'll talk about that afterwards this one right here to increase accuracy to BK that's gonna be huge this also can be real nice the HVK's damage and reload speed increase is gonna be really really good as well as the Mana Wars accuracy has been increased those last three were pretty good. In my opinion, that's going to kind of more or less change the, 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 I guess, the field of ARs or the meta. And then we have the MSMC increased ability and accuracy and increased ability in S36. I just think those are just a, it's a, it's a correction because you overcorrected it. So you, you over nerfed it. So you're just buffing it back to make it more playable. Basically the MSMC is unplayable. It went from a gun that was anybody can use to get quick kills to a high skill gap gun to now maybe you can play, maybe you can't. But pro players were able to use it a lot. So that was really good. So I'm, I'm expecting to see MSMC in the pro tier a lot, but we'll see an increased ability of S36. Don't think it's gonna be that much usefulness We'll see how it goes. All right. So now that we saw these little buffs and nerfs, we're going to go ahead and check again what I think will be the new meta. Just to summarize what we have here. So currently in the meta, the guns that we see quite often, uh, that's not pay to win or under paywall, AK-117. We do see the BK a lot, ASM as well. And then we have the Type 25, which is basically out of there. And we have the RUS. And we don't really have any LMG. I would love to see an LMG back into the meta. Just one. But as for now, this is what I think. I don't know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me or not? You guys can let me know in the comments down below or in the chat. So that was the meta before. And a new meta right now, I believe it's going to be primarily dominated by BKs. I think if the BK is going to go all the way on the top. I think that's going to be the one AR you're going to see mostly of. And if there's an SMG, it's still going to be the RUS. Literally did not get buffed or nerfed. So by default, get stayed on top. And then I think we're going to see a lot of Mana Wars and the UL. Depending on how the UL is. I'm just my predictions right now. I'm trying to predict what the meta is going to be. And these are the... I'm going to go with D5 guns, okay? I'm going to go with BK. I'm going to go with the RUS. I'm going to go with the UL. I'm going to go with the Mana War. And I'm going to go with the KN. I'm going to leave the KN in there. I'm going to leave out the HBR depending on a nerf. But if... Everyone gets a HBR. I think they might use it instead of the KN. It's kind of interesting. Well, I haven't added a six one. I think maybe the um, the HBR is going to be in there. The HVK is one I didn't really talk about. But it could be an SMG replacement. That's the one thing I'm kind of like... It says it increased the damage and the reload speed. But my biggest issue was not really the damage. It's more about the stability in those like mid to long range fight. A lot of people are saying it's basic in SMG. So the damage might be good. I might see some HVK as well. So I might, we'll see. That's why I didn't really put it in because it really needed a buff. I've been using it a lot, but I feel like that HVK, I might actually even throw it in those seven guns that we're gonna see. But I think the BK is gonna dominate the meta. The BK, the UL, RUS, yeah. The can might even get removed. I, I might even see like some, some instead of RUS, I can totally see people use RUS. I mean, not use the RUS and use the HGK. Totally can see it. I think so. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this list and the style. I kind of want to do that conclusion, but I, I honestly think, this is my honest opinion. I, I still think the BK is going to be the gun that's going to be on top. I've been using it a lot. 
and that's one of the gun. And it, I, I low key want to say the HVK, but I'm not. I'm on the fence. Those those few guns that I'm on the fence of, but the four that I'm really, even even the UL, I'm kind of on the fence. But the ones that I'm really, I think it's gonna dominate. It's the the BK. We're gonna have. We're, we're probably gonna see a lot of HBR whenever the game comes out. But depending on how well it's gonna be. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. What is your prediction of the meta? And then, uh, yeah, make sure to um, like, share, and subscribe. See you guys next time.